this. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the, pri and the priests bear rule by their own means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Amen. So the Lord said, the Lord says, Israelites and all these false prophets, man. Everybody is set up to do a job. This is a movie. Like going into the word God, what Greek feels, which means theater. This is the most high theater. Right. And it's, it's like, what, what type of director gonna make a movie where the majority of people in the world could be saved? No, man. When you watch movies, at the end, it's out of the whole cast, maybe one or two people be the, the heroines. Or the big, or, or victorious, man. And knowing that it's eight billion people in the world, the most high is only saving one third of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans right. throughout the four corners of the earth. That's that small amount of victims, man. This is the book of Amos, chapter three, verse one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Right. See, that's the common trend. It's only talking about the children of Israel, man. That's the only people he brought up from the land of Egypt, uh, Egypt man. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right. And we're seeing it. We're being punished for all our iniquities. Everybody up here worthy of death, man. But hey, we coming back. We, we came back to the understanding that we went off, man. And we coming back to the most high with that humble, contrite spirit, man. Why? Because we know we worthy of death. But the difference is, we sincerely trying to seek the most high. Y'all don't give a shit about the most high. We see it every week. People come up here. They glance at this sign and go and pay homage to that fucking statue over there, man. And the motherfucker see their nationality on this sign and still go walk over there to sign and blow the bar, man. It's sad, man. It's sad for y'all, not for us, man. Because we know what's coming to this place. We know how the most high gonna deal. He's not coming to meet you as a man. He already did that. He's doing that right now with his prophets out here on the highways and hedges. So once he closed the gates of mercy, all wrath, all hell going to rain down on this place. You men going to be holding your stomachs like you're pregnant, like you're a woman. These women going to be getting raped and ravaged and smashed to pieces. Your kids going to be getting stomped out. Why you think they having shit like Jade Ham, man? Right. Everything is for a purpose. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Yeah, the Lord coming real soon. Destroy this place. It's gonna be it's, when He comes. It's gonna be cruel. Like the ox just said, He's not coming to meet thee as a man. These sinners, these people who don't want to come back to the Lord, who disregard the Lord, who forsake the Lord, He's coming cruel, both with wrath and, fi and fierce anger and fire. Right. Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse eight. Behold. 
That's how the most high coming, man. Contrary to what y'all believe in, man. You're not coming to have a picnic, you know what I'm saying, with cotton candy and all type of shit, man. That, that, hey, that's far fetched. There's the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right, and that's mainly our people, man. You dumbass Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Y'all, we, hey, we desire the day of the Lord, but we also in a mind, in a state, a mind state of fear and trembling, because we know what that entails. You people don't know what that entails. Right. You people don't know you're gonna see death amongst among death amongst death, man. Millions, thousands, man, at a time, man. The worst horror movie you ever could imagine, man. All that 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 saw one, all that shit is not gonna compare to what what the Most High bringing to this place. Right. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right. The day of the Lord is darkness, not light, man. What end is it for you? Especially if you a uh, pork sandwich eating church goer, man. The scriptures say that you're going to die, man. Part. The most high got a bone to pick with you people, man. Right. You people that didn't want to seek out the most high's law, statutes, and commandments, and saying that the law done away with, and just want to go to church and listen to what your pastor got to say, the most, the most high got a bone to pick with you, man. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him. Right. So basically, man, if you ain't got, if you ain't part of the elect, you screwed, man. It's, it, that's a parable of saying, and it's gonna actually be animals out here hunting you people down. The most high gonna put the spirit on them, man, because they gonna be short of food too. But it's basically saying, uh, some martial law troops kicked the door in, and you ran out the back and ran down the street. But shit, you gonna run into another group of them down the street. It's no escaping, man. The only way you gonna escape is you part of the elect. It's right. clear cut, man. That's what the day of the Lord is all about, man. It's judgment time. Right, right now, everybody just going through the motions. Everybody already got their stamp, man. We just don't know. We just don't know if we're going to make it or not. We're coming out here doing what we need to do, but we don't know. <coughs> That's why they say the population boom, what, in the last, what, I think 100 years? It quadrupled, man. Why? Because the most high bringing these souls back to be judged. Or went into the house and laid his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Right. Now explain the most how we iterated that. For you shitheads, you turd brains, man. And, and most of you not even uh, concerned about the day of the Lord. And it's sad because you were saying, oh, we at the end of the world. But do you know what the end of the world entails? know who's going to be saved? Do you know how many people of this nation going to be destroyed? No. Nah. Hey, no pictures, man. Hey, no pictures, no man. Pictures. Okay. Dumbass yeah. goop. Shut your faggot ass up, man. Shut up, man. Most high going to destroy you. Right. You and everybody that li act like you. Whatever, man. Keep walking. Keep walking. Faggot. The goop not even defending this faggot too. Hey, look, our people taking up for the goops, man. Do you know what these goops have done to our people? They continue to do to our people. They don't give a fuck about you. Even very dark and no brightness in it. Right. Very dark and no brightness in it. That only a uh, shot of lightness is the elect being sealed, man. Right. But the elect gonna have to go through trials and tribulation, be brought through that fire, man. So, so what's in it for you, you shitheads that ain't seeking the Lord sincerely, man? Pure death, man. Nobody is escaping. 
everybody that is not part of Lex is gonna get put to death. That's plain, man. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. Right. Most high eyes are upon this place, man. This shit is over exceedingly wicked, man. This is the sinful kingdom, America. It says to reach unto, uh, unto the heavens, man. The Most High is furious, man. The atrocities that have been committed on this land, man, don't amount to none of the, the, the wickedness that has taken place throughout the four corners of the earth, man. But the scriptures tell you that the Most High is long-suffering. That's why he let this shit go on, man. Ain't gonna be justified, like the scripture said. Day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's why it's gonna be pure darkness. Cause this shit is exceedingly wicked, man. Right. I mean, exceedingly wicked to the point where, cause the law tell you that for uh, hey, the land to be cleansed, the, the, the person that shed the blood, his blood gotta be hey, shed there. Hey, but not in this instance, man. This place cannot be cleansed. Hey, it just has to be destroyed. That's how much wickedness is taking place here, man. Right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And you're going to destroy this place off the face of the earth, man. How? 200 million uh, nuclear missiles, man. That's how. And that's not uh, opinion or hypothesis. That's written in the scriptures. Everybody that walk by the men of the Lord, even if you look and keep it moving, man, you've been marked, man. Why? Because this is the most important thing on the face of the earth, especially if you're a Negro, Latino, and Native American. This is Revelation chapter 9, verse 12. One woe is passed. Right, one woe is passed, meaning World War One. It's fast already. Go ahead. And behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Right, and those two woes mean war, I mean uh, death and destruction. Mean World War II and World War Three. And we all know the average peon knows that World War Three, we had the cusp of World War Three. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 13. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the most high saying to the sixth angel which hath the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Right. Those are those same four angels that's holding back the winds. And the winds are what? It's nuclear destruction. Go ahead. Verse 15. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, in a day, in a month, in a year. Right. That's going into the most high. I already have told them, okay, Y'all gonna have to hold off until that appointed day, that hour, and that time. And they waiting diligently. And hey, they looking forward to doing that. Why? Because they, they love to please the most high, just like we do, man. Go ahead. Or to slay the third part of men. Right, third part of man, you so-called white people. So-called Edomites, your, your structure, your power structure, your rulership. Go ahead. Verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. Right. And I heard the number of them. And thus, I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Right. So that's the nuclear missile right there, man. This is John the Revelator seeing visions. He didn't, he couldn't say, oh, I saw a nuclear missile. Nah, he, the Most High gave it to him in visions. But what, what, he, what, what he was explaining was these nuclear missiles, man. And not just one, 200,000 thousand, man. That's 200 million, man. So that, that alone, because uh, one of these missiles, Okay, we're having a, th a hundred warheads in it, man. So the most high mean business, man. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. 